Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and in this video I want to have a look at Quick Controls. Now Quick Controls have been in Cubase since before Cubase 7 but since the release of Cubase 7 and the Mix console they've appeared in the RAX system uh, that we've been having a look at over the last few videos. So what are Quick Controls? Well, basically, they're a way of getting around some of the frustrations that having everything neatly organized can lead you to have. In this particular case, um, you might have been mixing and you want to start balancing a compressor, say, on an insert against a compressor in a channel strip, and you're struggling to get the two to work together. It's not helped by the fact that if you want to do it, you've got to have the compressor window open and you've also, you can't access the controls for the channel strip from the inspector, so you've got to have the channel settings window open and you're hocketing backwards and forwards between the two and trying to see what's going on behind. The same is equally true if you're working in the mix console view. You still can't see what's going on, although it has to be said, you can actually get to your providing you have it in view, you can actually get to your controls on your channel strip. You can adjust the controls on the compressor and then you can come over here and adjust. That's fine, but say you're a picky individual and you want to do both whilst you're running this backwards and forwards through different bits of the song to see what effect it's having all at the same time. That's where quick controls come in. This panel here in the inspector gives you the opportunity to bring through eight parameters that are capable of being automated in Cubase and have them all available to adjust here, whether they're from inserts, the channel strip, your sends or other parameters on the channel such as the low cut filter frequency. All of these things can be automated in here. Now there's a number of different ways that you can do this and we're going to have a quick look at them. Two of them are available for all um, automatable parameters in Cubase. The last one is reserved exclusively for Cubase's own built-in VST3 plugins, and we'll have a look at that one last. So to start with the traditional way of doing things, you can just click into a box, the single left click, and that brings you up all the available parameters. Uh, you can see you've got your panner, your volume, mute. You've got the input filter, which is your um, low cut, high cut filters and your gain. You've also got what's available on your inserts, the channel strip and the sends. So we've got this uh, VC160 from Softube on insert one. So if we go into inserts, insert one, yeah, sure enough, there's the VC160 there's all the parameters and what we can do is we'll click on that for compression and it brings up the compression setting and if I start to adjust it here in the quick controls you'll see that the knob moves and likewise if I move the knob you'll see that the compression setting moves that's fine and dandy that's one way to do it a more intuitive way is to click on the learn mode button and that will pot whatever control you move into the first available rack space. So in this case, we're going to go with the output from the compressor. And sure enough, there it is. The output is available to us. Turn learn mode off. And now, as you can see, that works like a charm. Quick controls are also available in the rack system, as I've said. Now, by default, quick controls aren't turned on in the rack system. You have to go into racks and access the quick controls, turn that on. And sure enough, when we go back into here, you will now see the quick controls has appeared as a rack at the bottom. And we've got the output and compression that we've just set up. Now, the third way of accessing controls that's exclusive to the VST3 plugins, and I'm glad to say that the channel strip acts in the same way, 
is even simpler. You simply go to what you want to adjust, right click on it, and you can add threshold to quick controls. That will put that in the first available slot, or you can specify which slot it you want it to go in. And it's already telling us that slot one is the output and the compression, slot two is the compression. You can also get it from here to show the threshold automation track in the project view. Or we're going to add the threshold to slot four. Bit of a blip there. And if we go back into our project view, where it's easy to see, you'll see that the threshold for the channel strip is now available to us. We don't have to have the channel settings window open. We don't have to be in the mix console view. So now we can adjust the settings on these two compressors against each other as easily as just adjusting them. Now I appreciate you might not want to actually adjust these against each other in real time. I've just been grabbing the first available control for the purposes of illustrating what quick controls are about. That's it. Quick controls in a nutshell. Um, hope you found it useful. It's certainly something that I'll be thinking about using more in the future. That's it for right now. Until the next time, take care of yourselves.